Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll explore the counters. Specifically, we'll discuss three essential types, CTU, CTD, and CTUD. So, let's get started. First, let's talk about the CTU counter, which stands for count up. It increments its value each time it receives a positive edge input signal. It's suitable for counting events like the number of products on a conveyor belt. In TIA Portal, the CTU counter has three inputs and two outputs. CU, this is the input that triggers the counter to increment its value. It is usually a positive edge triggered signal. When this input receives a positive edge, the counter value increases by 1. R, this input resets the counter value back to 0. When this input receives a positive edge, the counter is reset. PV, this input represents the value for which output Q is set. CV, this output represents the current value of the counter. It indicates the number of times the CU input has received positive edges since the last reset. Q, this output is often used to trigger other functions or processes when a specific count value is reached. Now let's simulate a CTU in TIA portal. First, click on Instructions, then select Basic Instructions. Next, go to Counter Operations and choose CTU Counter. This action will create a single instance DB. Create tags for the CU and reset inputs. The counter will count from 0 to 5, so the input PV will be set to 5. Save the project and upload it. In this example, we are using the S7 PLC SIM for simulation. Each time the CU input receives a positive edge, the counter is increment by 1. Once it reaches the value of PV, the output Q becomes true, indicating the desired condition is met. Now, let's move to the CTD counter, which stands for countdown. It decrements its value each time it receives a positive edge input signal. In TIA portal, the CTD counter has three inputs and two outputs. CD, this is the input that triggers the counter to decrement its value. It is usually a positive edge triggered signal. When this input receives a positive edge, the counter value decreases by 1. PV, this input represents the value for which output Q is set. LD, this input resets the counter value back to the PV value. CV, this output represents the current value of the counter. When the counter value reaches 0, the Q output becomes true. Now let's simulate a CTD in TIA portal. First, click on Instructions, then select Basic Instructions. Next, go to Counter Operations and choose CTD Counter. This action will create a single instance DB. Create tags for the CD and LD inputs and for the CV output. The counter will count from 5 to 0, so the input PV will be set to 5. Save the project and upload it. In this example, we are using the S7 PLC SIM for simulation. Once LD receives a positive edge, the counter is reset to the PV value. Each time the CU input receives a positive edge, the counter is decremented by 1. Once it reaches 0, the output Q becomes true. Now, let's explore the CTUD counter, which stands for count up down. The CTUD counter is designed to increment or decrement its value based on specific input. The CTUD counter has 5 inputs and 3 outputs, which are a combination of the inputs and outputs of the CTU and CTD counters. To understand how the CTUD counter works, let's move to its simulation. First, Click on Instructions, then select Basic Instructions. Next, go to Counter Operations and choose CTUD Counter. This action will create a single instance DB. Create tags for the inputs and the output. Save the project and upload it. In this example, we are using the S7 PLC SIM for simulation. 
There are two working modes for this counter. If the counter is operating in the up mode, it will react as follows. Each time the CU input receives a positive edge, the counter is increment by 1. Once it reaches the value of PV, the output QU becomes true, indicating that the desired condition is met. If we press the reset, the count value will be 0. However, if the counter is working in the down mode, it will react as follows. Once LD receives a positive edge, the counter is reset to the PV value. Each time the CD input receives a positive edge, the counter is decrement by 1. Once it reaches 0, the output QD becomes true.